fantastic voyages of Sinbad the Sailor. Out on Sinbad's sailing ship, he's bound for distant shores, finding kings and creatures that had never been seen before. Just when it seems there's no escape, Sinbad has a scheme. Then Sinbad saves himself as well as Kulak and Hakim. From the stormy ocean, Sinbad hears his name. Some say those who heed the call will never return again. Sinbad finds mystery and Sinbad finds danger. The fantastic voyages of Sinbad the Sailor. Now what sort of story shall I tell you today? But what fable of mine can match a child's imagination? To her, that doll seems alive. But I did know a little girl once whose toys truly were alive. And Sinbad the sailor risked his own life in order to save them. Ah, uh, just think, Hakim. We are the first sailors ever to cross the Sea of Storms. Well, I'd rather we were crossing the Sea of Tranquil Waters. We were almost to that island. We could explore it while we wait out the storm. That's if we reach it, look! A water spout! It's coming right at us! Let's make a run for it! We cannot outrun it! Get ready to hit the beach! Salania? Me? I am far from a colossus. Actually, I am rather small for my age. Honest, King Peshkar, I just want to find my friends and go home. You have no friends here, giant. Now look, a giant beast! Get there! Giant monster! Kulak! Oh, thank the fate I have you. They're together! It's some diabolical trick of the Valakwis! Ready? Aim! Stop! We are nobody's trick! We have never even heard of these qualities! Flapples! Falakwis! They are my people's sworn enemies! Enemies? Why? What have they done? I'll show you what they've done. The Falakwis kidnapped my only daughter, Princess Ilani. The heartless monsters! Catapult attack! Take cover! <laughs> You, you saved my warriors! All hail the giant! All hail the giant! Oh, it was nothing. You could just call me Hakim the Mighty! I can't wait to see the Falakwis faces when they see our gigantic new warrior. Warrior? Oh, oh no, no, not, not me. I don't believe in war. Oh, you won't have to battle them. One look at you and those Falakwi cowards will surrender. Look, I just want to find my friend Sinbad. I promise you, once you put our enemies to flight, my men will scour the island in search of your friend. Well, all right, I guess. 
I just hope Sinbad's not in any trouble. Hakeem? Kulak! Whoa! What the... Oh, no! Quicksand! Put me down! Hakeem! Anyone! Help! I'm going under! I'm on my way! <gasps> A giant! A helpless giant, I assure you! Please, are there any more of you who can help? A few more. I am Neela, Empress of the Falakwis. The fates are with me. Thank you, kind Empress. Save your thanks, giant. I need your help as much as you need mine. Throw the giant your strongest wagon chains and pull him out! I am Sinbad the Sailor, and I owe you my life, Empress Neela. If there's ever anything I can do... There is. March with us to the city of the Solanians, and make them return my son, Prince Ruko, whom they kidnapped. Are the Solanians also tiny... Uh, <clears throat> that is, people your size? Well, of course. We've been at war for centuries. I'll have my blacksmith forge you some armor for the battle. I will not battle against people who are smaller than I. <laughs> for a monstrous giant, you are rather honorable. Well, don't fret. They'll give up as soon as they see the size of you. Hmm. It would give me a chance to search for my friends. But are you certain the Solanians took Prince Ruko? Who else? They are our only enemies on this island. And no one ever comes here by way of the sea. Begging your majesty's pardon, but I did. Sinbad was nearer the truth than he knew. For Prince Ruko and Princess Ilani were, at that very moment, far across the sea, tiny prisoners in the port of Dramos. To the workshop of Malik the Toymaker came the wealthiest merchant in Dramos with his young daughter, Dina. Well, well, if it isn't my very best customer, how did you and little Dina like my toys? We did not. Not only do they show crude workmanship, but they are extremely destructive. Uh, one smashed the leg off Dina's chair, and the other sliced up her best dress. Now I'm sure you will give me satisfaction, Malik, or I'll have you before the magistrate. Please, good sir, shouting is meant for business. <laughs> I promise I will make this up to you. On my last voyage, I found some toys that have no equal. Father, look. They're beautiful. Please, help us. We're not toys. What? <laughs> I had you fooled for a minute, didn't I? Well, I have to admit, you did. Yes. You would almost swear they were real. Tiny Solanian soldiers had melted down all their bronze armaments in order to fashion armor and a sword for Hakim, their new giant warrior. They also made very sure that Kulak had enough to eat. Calm yourself, Hakim the Mighty. It's just your helmet visor. Oh, this is car. Do I really have to wear all this armor? Absolutely. It will strike terror into the Falakwe's hearts. But how am I supposed to see? Maybe I will just keep it down for now. Ow! That hurt! The Falakwe's are attacking! To arms! You are the men to arms! What arms? Did your soldiers not just melt down all their weapons? I was talking to you! Hurry! The Falakwis are about to breach our defenses! Oh. Uh, mm. ah! Oops. I, uh, sorry. I do not want to hurt anyone, but... Uh, please! 
Please, you must not destroy the city! You don't stand a chance against our giant weapon! That'll hold ya! Hakim the Mighty angry. Is that not right, Kulak? <laughs> Some help you are! <laughs> Fear not, brave Falakwis. Our own giant warrior is at hand. What are they cheering about? They have a giant even bigger than ours. They do. But don't worry, you have a sword and he doesn't. Make them return my daughter Milani. It seems they have a giant too. It may not be so easy to get your son Prince Rugo back. Just act ferocious. He won't dare challenge you. A word of advice, giant. Your speaking voice is none too terrifying. Better roar instead. Roar, right. Attack! Teach him a lesson! Finish him! Meanwhile, across the sea, the merchant's daughter had been playing with her newly acquired toys. Father, may I have some food for Prince Ruko and Princess Alani? Uh, who? My new toys! Those are their names. They told me so. <laughs> of course they did. Here, Dina, give them this. <laughs> Look, I brought you something to eat. I refuse to eat those things. I do too. You had no right to take us from our homeland. But I didn't do anything. It's not her fault, you foolish Falakwi. You're the one who got us captured. Me? You're the one who went for a walk alone after dark. Oh! oh. If I hadn't happened along, you'd have tumbled to your death. I would not. <laughs> well, Princess Alani, if you Salanians are as poor at fighting as you are at walking, you might as well concede this war now. I see the Falakli reputation for stupidity is deserved. I'm quite able to pull myself up. I don't need an enemy's help. Well, if you aren't the most conceited you little brat, it has Hampton ever been my fortune to meet. <gasps> Tiny people. Well, you're going to make me a very big man back in dramas. <laughs> oh, no! giant! <laughs> if you hadn't been yelling so loudly, that floating giant wouldn't have discovered us. I wouldn't have yelled if you hadn't called me foolish. Well, that's what you are! I can't wait to rid myself of your presence. And once we get back home... Don't you see? We'll never get back home. <laughs> Please, do not cry. I will find a way to get you home. I promise. Surrender now, King Peshka, for our giant will stomp your giant to a pulp. Our giant will cut yours to ribbons. That is right, old tall one. I may be a small giant, but I'm very mean. That voice, Hakim? Is that you? Hakeem! Oh, am I glad to see you. No wonder Kulak didn't come to my rescue. He knew it was you! You two giants are friends? If this is a joke, it is in the worst possible taste. How are we to fight this war now? We melted down all our weapons to make his armor. As did we. Good. Then this will be the perfect time to stop your silly war. Stop our war. Ridiculous! Melt down the giant's armor! And make new weapons! They are still determined to fight. I want toys I can see. Uh, no, no, I, I oh, won't pay any price to the Any price, you say? Well, in that case... <gasps> That's it! That's the evil vessel that stole us from our island! Supplier now. 
I shall return with many more. Stop it! So what do I do? Put us in the gondola. I'll take care of the rest. You'll take care of it? You got us into this mess in the first place. <laughs> I'll be back before you know it. Save your money. Now back to the island to get more little people. My fortune awaits me. have enough weapons for a minor skirmish! Let alone a full-scale war! Why are you making armor? Do you plan to live forever? Just make more swords! Why must they fight a war? Why can't they just let Princess Alani and Prince Ruko go? Hakeem, that's it! There's only one reason why not. King Peshkarp, Empress Neela, you both love your children. Wouldn't you release any prisoners you were holding to get them back? Of course, of course I, I would. would! Then it is clear to me that you don't have her son, and you do not have his daughter. Then, then who does? does? <laughs> now, <laughs> who's going to be my next toy? The heartless toy maker had returned to snatch up more of the little people, while one of his sinister toys held Sinbad, Hakim, and Gulag prisoner. And the tide was rapidly rising. This net is made of steel. We'll never get loose. Yes, we have to. Oh no, this is terrible. Our armies don't stand a chance against the toy maker. Oh, let me see. Perhaps I'll take one of these. Very good. <laughs> one of those. No, a few of the red ones. Very nice. Why don't you Solanian cowards do something? What about your brave Falakwis? They're scattering like ants. I can't just stand by and watch this. Wait here. I have an idea. Let me help you, Ruko. If you insist, Ilani. Maybe we can drop a sandbag on the toy maker. <laughs> Look up, your majesties. It is your children, working together. If your armies would do that, they could free us. How do you like having your own evil toys turned against you, toy maker? Don't forget your lunch! Oh. When I get my hands around you two, you'll be a lot smaller than you are now. Sinbad is right! We must make peace and join forces! Everyone grab your swords and free our giant warriors! Hurry if you want us to rescue the prince and princess! We must cut the rope before he... Ah. Ah. Catch me if you can, toy maker! We're almost through! Stand back! Kula can take it from here. One down and one to go! Are you all right, Prince Ruko? Who are you? Sinbad, a friend. Then save Princess Ilani. They're drifting out to sea! To the ships! I'll make you pay for what you did to Prince Ruko! Ha! Now you shall pay! Heavens are all right. And you too, Ilani. Try fighting someone your own size. The vent. We'll all crash into the sea. Then surrender. Never. Get off of me, uh. you filthy. Ow! Stop that! Ow! Ruko, do you see what I see? Yes. Toy, I'm 
Enjoy your swim. Look out, shark! Don't worry, we're saved. After all that Princess Ilani and Prince Ruko had been through together, they realized they had fallen in love and wished to be married. But the king and the empress couldn't agree on where the wedding should be held. So to put an end to the bickering, the young couple were married at sea by the captain of the Nimbus, Sinbad. Akeem was best man. As for the evil toy maker, he came down in a far away land where he learned exactly how it feels to be used. <laughs> By, uh, who is that? By the sandals of the elders! Oh, what a cute little toy! I am not a toy! I'm a human being! Now put me down! Oh, and he talks! Oh, I'm gonna love you and hug you and 